My name is Oscar and I help people raise their vibration and share their gift with the world. And in this video, we're going to look at the three keys that unlocks radical acceptance so you can move on from past hurts and turbocharge your spiritual growth. So I'm sure that things have occurred in your life that you feel maybe resentment, sadness, hurt and grief about. For me, when I was very young, I didn't experience that many things that were hurtful, but one thing in particular has always stood out and has been a big, big, big part inside of me. And that was when I was very young because we had a lot of um, we had a lot of dogs in my family and because you have dogs and they live shorter than you, they die, right? And one of those instances, I not only needed to be there when we had to put the dog down, but also carry it in my arms when we took it to the place where it's supposed to be buried. And I didn't reflect about that that much, but inside of me, that picture of doing that, I was extremely, extremely hard to even go to that place in my mind. And I'm sure you have places in your mind with the things that you've gone through or going through that you have difficulty even being with, right? Even visualizing, even allowing yourself to, to really immerse yourself into them. And that's one of the key things in this video. And the first video is that we become aware, right? You become aware of what is it that you cannot accept, right? In my case, I couldn't accept that something that I loved so dearly passed away. I couldn't accept that I had to carry that as a child, you know, because it was extremely traumatic. So what is it that you cannot accept about the things? Always ask yourself that, right? What is it? that you cannot accept because then you become way more clearer about it. Now, understand this key that what has happened has happened, right? You cannot control what has happened. That's fact. What you can control, however, is how you relate to it, how you feel about it, right? how you think about it because it is what you're thinking and feeling around it that is hurtful, right? That's the pain. I'm sure that if you've gone through things in your life and you look back and you reflect that it sometime in your life, it was really hurtful, but it isn't any longer, right? What has changed? What has changed? Which brings me to the second point. So one thing is what you cannot accept, right? The event in itself or the person or whatever that's occurring in your life. But know this. The reason why you want or you do not want things in life is, is that you do not want what these things or you do not you want 
but these things makes you feel, right? The only reason why you're going after anything in life is because of how it makes you feel. And the only reason why you avoid anything in life is because if, of how it makes you feel, right? Your emotions are the ones you either want to avoid or run towards. Which brings us to the question that what emotion is it that you're not allowing yourself to feel? For me, that emotion was grief. I couldn't accept that sadness, that terrible sadness. I kept it in. And it was only when I was able to, as an adult, go back and process it, that I could truly release it. I didn't have access to my sadness because I deemed that the event was wrong, but in essence, it's the emotion that you're feeling about the event that is wrong. So become aware of what is the emotion. And the moment you become aware of the emotion, you will see that that emotion in itself, which brings us to the third point, that emotion, it reminds you of a past experience, right? Not necessarily only the experience about the memory that you're having, but an, even a, another past experience, right? That's tied to this emotion. So your emotions are messengers. Your emotions are messengers to the memories in your past where the hurtful experiences has happened. And by you being with the emotions, you start allowing that whatever was occurring to, to, for, to flow through you, right? You need to feel it to heal it. So when you are with these emotions, allow yourself to really visualize and go into the pain. I know it's hurtful, but acceptance and radical acceptance is about letting go. And the only way to let go is to not be emotionally attached any longer, which comes by you holding your awareness on the emotion moving through the whole cycle of it all, feeling it, right? Feeling it all. Because the thing is this, that everything in life, we might think that it happens to us, but it really happens for us. You see, if you've ever heard of the scale of consciousness, by, uh, by David R. Hawkins. Acceptance is above willingness, right? You have to be willing to move into acceptance. You must be willing to accept, right? But once you're in acceptance and you move into it and you allow yourself to process these emotions, right? The emotional processing happens in the acceptance of it. When that occurs, you will move into the next stage in your consciousness, which is reason. Because you will always get an insight when you're letting go of the cloudiness of the emotions that have clouded your perception. Because the thing that has occurred that hurts you so much is hurtful because you only have a one-sided perspective that is focused in an emotional part. And when you let go of that emotion, you will see the spectra of it, right? You will become aware 
of a far-sightedness instead of an opinionated or judgmental way of being. That catapults your spiritual growth. So everything in your life that has an emotion attached to it, that is hurtful, that you are refusing to look at. The key to really move through and move on from any stuckness or the hurts or the resentments or the repeating patterns in your life is to go into that pain fully, embracing it. Because then you will get the reason around it, the cause and the effect. Right? You will start to understand the pattern of your life. That's when acceptance becomes true. And once you've done it with one of the, your biggest hurts, it will be so much easier whenever something occurs that you do not like. Right? Then the dark night of the soul becomes easy to transcend because you are aware of what you should do. Always go in the direction of the pain. And it's not masochistic. Because the thing is this, do you know what ecstasy is? Right. Ecstasy is not a state of ecstatic joy. It's not. You know what ecstasy is? It is actually a state that is happening because of the marriage of sadness and joy, of the love making between joy and sadness where these two emotions can playfully interact so you can move through the heartbreak and the love in your life because the more you can embrace the darkness of an emotion the easier it becomes and the more ecstatic it is to move into the other parts right and you become this dynamic being that pendles back and forth. And that's what a high vibe life is, right? It's not this constant movement up this way, right? It is this. And you have the ability to flip back and forth. You're so dynamic. You become an expression. You become an away form. But it can only happen when you really move into the acceptance of it all. And that's how you truly catapult your spiritual growth. So for me, this sadness that happened to me, that was extremely hurtful. It was happening for me so I could move into that grief. So I had access to more joy and I could go back and forth between them. And I can be more ecstatic in my liveliness in life. My attitude changes. And it's the attitude that is the gift frequency, right? The attitude, the, the, the gift uh, attitude is the gift frequency. It gives you access to an enormous strength inside of you. So by doing the work, you will get access to it. And that's the key. From there, you can start to play with life. Because playing with life is to be the waveform, the banter, the back and forth. <sighs> so that's it. That are those the three steps I want you to keep in mind. So behind every hurt that you're having, you have a potential breakthrough be, uh, out of your willingness to dare to go into your acceptance right because first when you move into the higher vibe in the scale of consciousness you have courage neutrality willingness acceptance reason and from there you go into love that is a state beyond reason but you have to go that step first and acceptance is the first one on the path So take that in. Okay, guys. That's it for today's video. Peace. Ah. Oh. Hmm. <laughs>
please comment below whatever that stood out for you around this. And don't forget to like, subscribe and click the notification bell because more of these kind of videos, they're just coming. Okay. Peace, love and joy to all of you. Bye for now.